Hi and uh, welcome to another technology video. So in this video we're going to be looking at a specific scenario and we're going to show you how you can achieve that. So the scenario that we've got is that um, we want to block specific devices from accessing the internet at a certain time during the day. Um, the reason for that is, well it doesn't really matter, it could be anything basically. So imagine you um, you're at home, you're using a PFSense device um, at home to protect your network and you've got your kids for instance that are on the internet all hours of the day and night and you want to block their internet access um, during the night for instance when they should be sleeping so you can apply this scenario to just about anything you want if you want to block access to specific devices access the internet during the day um, then you can do so as well um, and I'm going to show you how to do it so the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to understand your scenario so our scenario in particular is 2200 to 0600 we want to block um, a specific device and the way that we're going to do that is we are going to first of all we're going to create a time schedule so that's a time schedule that we create on PFSense and then we're going to um, tell our DHCP server to always allocate the same IP address to um, that device or any number of devices so for instance if you had a PC you always want to give it the same IP address um, and then you want to create an alias which is effectively a group of hosts networks or URLs so in our instance we're going to create an alias with um, the IP addresses in, that we want to block so effectively you're creating a group list of things to block and then the last piece is you want to create a firewall rule to block um, access to something on the internet so the best one that we've come across is blocking DNS because nothing works without DNS so we're going to create a block rule um, to stop access to DNS from the aliases in that time schedule okay so now we've walked through the scenario let's crack on so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create our time schedule and to do that we want to go to um, firewall and then down to schedules and as you can see here I've got a couple of test ones so um, I'm going to delete those and I'm going to delete that as well so we can show you so we're going to create one called night time so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on add and give it a name like that uh, add your own description whatever you want in there um, month is not so important so um, if you select your um, dates or the out uh, the days of the week then it will continue to provide that um, blocking it's basically saying um, blah, blah, uh, use this time schedule at any time so I'm going to select all of Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday because I want to do this every single day and then I want to select the time now um, you can't block from 2200 till 0600 so what you've got to do is you've got to create two time schedules so the first time schedule that we'll be creating is 22 o'clock till 2359 and then we're going to click on add time so as you can see here it's saying Monday to Sunday 2200 to 2359 and then we're going to add a second one so again we want to do Monday through Sunday only this time we want to do 0000 till 0600 and that will give you the time range that you're looking for so we're going to add that to there I didn't click on add time so let's do it again Monday through to Sunday midnight till 0600 scroll down click on add time so you can add your time ranges into your um, into your time schedule and then once you're done with that um, we're going to click on save now there is a discrepancy here of one minute um, you can't do anything about that basically you have to do uh, till 23.59 and then at midnight um, so we're going to save that and that's our schedule created so we called it night time Monday to Sunday 2200 till midnight midnight till 6 a.m. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to, we want to allocate our DHCP fixed leases to devices. So first of all, we're going to go and have a look at our DHCP leases. Now the lease that I'm using, I want to use this computer that I'm working on at the moment. So as you can see here, this is our IP address and this is our host name. So we want to take our host name 
and then we want to go back to our services and go back to our DHCP server you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of our DHCP server and as you can see here I've created some DHCP static mappings um, for the DHCP server so I'm going to create add a new entry here and I'm going to paste my MAC address done that wrong so I need to go back to my DHCP leases I want to copy my MAC address I don't know why I copied my host name but you want to take the MAC address go back to our DHCP server scroll down to the bottom click on add paste your MAC address in here paste the IP address now this has got to be an IP address that's not in the DHCP scope so I'm going to use 192.168.0.245 I don't know two four five I don't think I've used and then my host name so what I'm going to do is I can go back click on status just do a right click and say open a new tab on your DHCP leases and then I'm going to take my host name because I can't remember it and then I'm going to add that into my host name field there add a description if you want if you want to create uh, a static ARP entry you can um, but uh, um, I'm not bothering with that at the moment. Uh, it might be useful if you've got uh, if you've got some kids, for instance, that actually can change their DHCP IP address to a fixed IP address. That will be a way to get around this and break this. So, in other words, if they create their own static IP address, then they're still going to have access because actually their IP address is going to be different from what you're trying to issue via the lease. Once you've done that. Uh, you leave all the rest of this blank so all we're doing is we're adding the MAC address the IP address and the host name I'm going to click on save and as you can see it's added it uh, to the bottom of the list here and then I'm going to apply that which that is done the next thing that I want to do is to um, I'm going to create an alias of the devices so in this one you want to you want to make sure that you know what the IP address is as you can see here I've actually used 245 so I'm gonna to have to change that I'm gonna give that 246 and then apply the changes obviously you don't want clashing IP addresses it's going to cause havoc in your network so then I'm going to copy the IP address now the next thing I want to do is I want to create um, an alias of all of the IP addresses that I want to block so we do that by clicking on firewall and aliases and you can see here you've got IP ports URLs or all so we're going to use the IP object or the IP alias so we're going to click on add and we're going to give this a name so the name that I'm going to give this is I might as well use my desktop name uh, no matter what you will use um, any name you want so uh, my PC let's just do that for now the type um, again if you want to do it network wise port wise URLs you can do that but we're going to use um, host and we're going to add the IP address that I've given it and I'm going to call that my PC you can add additional hosts if you want um, you just keep adding them and once you've done that your alias or your group will contain all of these IP addresses I'm only going to show you with, with one IP address at the moment and then we're going to click on save so that is now the firewall alias we're going to apply that and then the next thing that we want to do is we want to create our firewall firewall block rule and we're going to block DNS so we're going to click on firewall then we're going to go to rules and we're going to go to the LAN tab and then what we're going to do is we're going to add um, the rule to the top of the list so the way that firewall rule works it basically works from the top down until it gets a match and then it stops um, and does what it finds in its match basically so we want to add um, to the top we're going to add it between the anti-lockout rule and everything else so if you click on the add it to the top then it's going to put it in the, the right place now the action is going to be block we want to set it against the LAN interface um, we're going to be using IPv4 and because DNS uses both TCP or UDP we're going to set that to both 
and then in our source we're going to select um, single host or alias and our source address was the aliases so I'm going to click on that because I can't remember the name of it I'm going to do a right click on aliases and have a look I can call it my underscore PC as our alias so I'm going to go back to our firewall rule and our single host or alias is going to be my PC as you can see here it knows about it in the drop down list the destination is going to be any and the port range is not going to be other that is going to be DNS so we're going to select DNS 53 we're not using DNS uh, secure DNS so it's just DNS 53 for us and that is all you need in there now you want to come down to the display advanced section you want to scroll down to the bottom and you want to select your schedule so we're going to select our schedule was night time and we are I'm also going to select um, the, uh, the the gateway that I'm using here. So we've got a gateway set, we've got our schedule set, and we've got our DNS ports there. We're saying block the source on the LAN interface using IPv4 because we're not using IPv6. And then we're going to save that. And then we're going to apply that. And you can see here that um, it's added it between the anti-lockout rule for our system and the rest of the LAN so it will look for this first and if it's in the schedule it will block it now when the schedule kicks in if you come back into your firewall rules you will notice that this yellow uh, cross or this yellow circle with the cross in it actually turns red with the cross in it to tell you that it's actually blocking what it's saying here it's not currently active because it's not within that time period but if you wanted to test that um, then obviously you can create a schedule for now um, and then you can go ahead and test that. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to um, make sure that my IP address is updated because at the moment it's still on my old IP address so what I'm going to do here is just fire up a command prompt do an IP config. Uh, as you can see here uh, at the moment it is the correct IP address oh, it's the incorrect IP address so I'm going to actually do a renew on that okay so has that done yep so there we go so now it's got its uh, new lease of 246 so if it's in the time scale um, then that would actually be blocking outbound DNS so I'm going to change this time scale I'm going to say I'm going to add a new time zone for it Monday through Sunday what's the time now so it's 1402 so I'm going to select 1400 to 1430 and then I'm going to add that at the time Monday to Sunday 14 to 1430 so it's in the current time scale I'm going to save that now if we go back to our firewall rules that should now have a red cross to it on our LAN section because actually uh, we should be blocking it. So the next thing we want to do is the all important test. So I'm going to fire up a web browser. This will be in the local cache so if I now go to, I don't know, try and go to Google there we go, can't reach the page. Google's DNS uh, can't be reached you're not connected so that is what your end users will see you not they're not going to be able to get to anything so again let's go see we can go to Facebook can't reach it go to YouTube can't reach it any of the others can't be reached and that is because you're um, in that uh, that time slot so now let's go back here and change our nighttime um, schedule we're going to remove our last one so if we delete that save it now if we go back to our firewall rules again you on our LAN tab you should see that that is no longer blocking and we should now be able to open up a window yeah so everything is now available there we go
that's all there is to it so um, what we've talked about there we'll just have a quick recap so showing you how to create a schedule to block internet access using um, a simple file rule block on DNS um, we put that in a schedule and we've allocated fixed DHCP leases to a device added those devices to um, an alias or a group and then applied the file rule settings based on the alias and the um, time schedule if you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't like the video, um, sorry about that. I hope we can uh, we can make some better videos for you in the future. Leave us a comment in the description below if you've got any questions or queries about how to do this or if you get stuck. Um, and just like to say, thanks a lot for watching.